like I say, uh, I just watching a video on uh, on one of my old steam engines. It's funny they go in there. They say, "Oh, these are fire holes." They look on the look out on the mo. It's like, no, no, no. Those are air intakes. Um, basically, the fire would need a certain amount of air, and they'd put them down low or a certain height, basically, and it was all figured out. And I forget what they would. Um, I forget how it worked exactly, but. There were there were passages for the 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 big steam pipes would be up high, and what it would do is is as as the cold water came in because we'd use uh, mine water too, but basically we would pump it up, pump it in, and and they would run themselves. They would feed their own the the, 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 the once they got going the, uh, the 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 steam would would provide for a water pump basically, and you turn it on. For me, you have to charge the system by hand. You know, and light it, and then they would go, and then uh, it'd burn, and um, and basically heat it up, and then it would start going, you know, it'd start building up pressure, and or not, but I mean, it'd start building up pressure, and the inlet holes would suck in a certain amount of air, and they would have a another steam run fan, basically on the outside, and we used like like the little piston fans, and also the the turbine fans, basically. Um, where the steam would come through, and it's it, it basically is like a reverse hydro plant. Basically, you know how, how a hydro plant, um, you know, it, it does this. Well, just like a hydro plant, basically, but it's steam, basically. You know, as it ran through the the impellers, it would turn it would turn the fan, and we could usually run five or six things off of one steam pipe. Basically, like like, like the steam would come out of the engine, go up go through the fan that fed the the air or whatever. You know, you could turn on and turn off or whatever. Anyway, I forget exactly how that worked. Anyway, though, but but there would be subsystems and all that other stuff. It was actually really complicated. I mean, it was. I mean, I spent like a thousand or twelve hundred dollars for for that for that for that unit, and it lasted about seventy five to one hundred fifty years. About I built quite a few of them, but basically. Um, they they were done. They they were improved too. At first, you know, you just go in. They just go in with wheelbarrow and put it in there, and then they would charge it up, and then they would burn it all day. And then later on, I think they did an automatic conveyor, so it'd come along and it would dump coal in certain spots. And I think they used cable system or something like that. They could close off, or they'd go in there and just close off the vents. So they'd fill one side, what the, the first part, and then you know open up the vent, and the coal would come down, or the wood chips would come down. And then they would close that one, and the conveyor belt would continue along, and then it would go up and go, and they would open up the other one, and then the coal and stuff would come down that one, and then they would rake it around, and then they would go, close that one, and then, you know, and the conveyor belt just keeps going, and if it just slides over the holes, and then it just keeps going to the next one where they go, and open that up. And that kind of stuff, you know, and they'd rake it all down, and then, uh, and then there would be a, uh, and then there was pipes and a, um, and a sprinkler system, uh, and they and they had like uh, alcohol and pig fat. It was like this yellowish, like icky stuff. Like, um, and they would throw some tarn in there or whatever. <laughs> they'd throw some tar, some tar blocks in there, I think, um, or they'd leave the tar blocks in there overnight. And the tar blocks, I think they had tar blocks, and they would just uh, put them in there, and they would get all soft and stuff, and with alcohol. And then they would throw in some more pig fat or something like that. And then they would pipe it through the system. And they would spray down. Great big huge little like, well about, well a little smaller than this. But yeah, but basically spray nozzles. And they had like these with this little thing on the end or whatever. And we had our little spray nozzles. So you know, it would go and wet it down. And they would do that for like uh, 20 minutes I guess. I don't know, just oompa 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 oompa. They would charge it, charge the system. And then, uh, and then a guy would take a little mat light thing and just go, and go. And then, like I said, they would, um, they had louvers on the air intakes, and they would pump air through through it, and they would also have louvers on the exhaust. And I think there was also a fan on the exhaust, so they could, um, so they could also like help it pump or whatever. Just just a light fan, just kind of like light it. I mean, just kind of slowly move the air through. Nothing really big because you know mostly just. You know, basically the whole engine's level, and then um, there were also some engines where they were built on an incline, so it would use the natural processes, and I think they had doors they could close and and stuff to to, to close off sections, and there was actually the, these engines where where it was like a three phase engine or whatever, so like there was the first phase phase of the engine, and you could load that part, 
up and it had a steam pipe out and then there would be a second stage to the engine and you could load up that part and then a third stage also. So a three stage steam engine which is basically you just go put the coal in there and then you know engine the size of a building basically and then you uh, light it up you know and then and then it provides steam all day. So like if you had a mine and like uh, like a mine need two of these running or something like that you could charge one and then what they call charging. So basically going in dumping coal and then getting it all nice and oily and then lighting it up and then pumping water through it. Uh, I built some of the biggest steam, uh, basically building sized steam engines. <laughs> I mean, they're not that big. I mean, some of them were kind of big, but yeah. Uh, and they would cost like $500 or, um, or like, uh, or like a thousand, $1,200 for me to build. And then they would run for like 50 years, 75 years or something. And they were used for the mining. And then later on, like I said, they were used for textiles and then, and also saw a sawmill. They also did sawmill work. And, um, and plus, you, you know, people would buy steam from me. So I'd build the engine basically and make money from it and, you know, and re re repay my, my workers basically. And, um, and they would, um, yeah, well, usually I ended up owning, owning the sawmill anyway. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, whatever. I mean, usually I'd buy, I'd, I'd build the sawmill or invest in the sawmill because usually you need a sawmill and stuff like that to be a real thing. So there'd be a sawmill off to the side and a textile and that's how I started my business really you know I, I um, you know and and you know it's my forest or whatever or I'd have a section of forest and then I'd grow a little bit get a little more forest or whatever but anyway though and I'd pay for the planting and all that so so anyway um, so they would make boards out of this stuff and I would sell the boards or just um, make a little bit of money from that so eh, it's a business so yeah, I mean, I had I had like three or four of these, and then uh, I had more, and then more and more and more, and um, yeah, they ran really well. So I mean, my existence was over a long, 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 long time. Yeah, yeah, I had some of the, some really cool ones, and they had the little inlets. They weren't fire, you know. They, they called them firing holes, but you know, it's where the air intake came in, basically. So anyway, or exhaust, you know. So I, I think the exhaust went up though, I forget. Some of them had they had it so the exhaust just came out the side. And some of them had it and sometimes we even did a water thing on the exhaust because sometimes it'd be really smoky where it'd be like <laughs> the whole town can't breathe. <laughs> so we would have like a water drip system sometimes where or the or the steam would exit. We tried a couple different things where the steam where the steam pipes we'd run the steam back and then exit it on the exhaust or try and kind of keep down the, the the smoke and soot that comes from these engines because sometimes i mean like i say it would <laughs> it would decimate a whole valley with, with with smoke because these things are they really they, they really burn so you know how, how it would get so we tried to do some things to kind of like keep down the the the, the air pollution so you know we, we'd run the steam pipes all the way back sometimes exhaust exit steam or whatever and then it would dump out or we would run like a water spray over it to try and kind of keep down the um those called we also did like a baffled system to kind of and then spray so so as as the as the as the stuff exited and i think it also worked as like uh it provided like natural 100 percent. so you didn't need a fan you could just you know when the, when the smoke exited because it'd be hot air that's exiting you just spray down some water and it cools and the air shrinks and i think it it provides natural into air intake or something like that. We tried a couple different systems. So and everyone was like, yeah, yeah, it's lying. It's like, no, it's not. It's true. I mean, I remember the baffled systems are really cool. Like um, they'd go up and down and then we'd run water, trickle, trickle feed water into them. And, um, and it would cool down the air. We tried a couple different systems just for fun. You know, I mean, it's just like stone blocks or whatever. We built them and just, just tested it out. Just we, I had my test one, so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're still there because they're like, that's my test site. 